had some really great coaching and had some really good experiences with public speaking. Uh, while I've been in high school and in FFA, and this is a speech that I prepared. It's called Franken Foods or False Information, The Truth Behind GMOs. Last summer, my family took a trip to visit Yellowstone National Park. We were sitting there in the bleachers awaiting the eruption of Old Faithful when my eight-year-old brother Levi began to read the back of his snack package. And he came across a word that he couldn't pronounce, and when I looked over, I understood why. See, there on the back of that package was a brightly colored label stating that the contents of that bag were certified to be GMO-free. Well, I began explaining to Levi what a genetically modified organism was and how they're beneficial to our environment and our economy when I began to sense a disturbance in the force. And glancing back over my shoulder, I found a middle-aged woman who had evidently been listening to every single word I said. And by the expression on her face, she didn't agree with a word of it. <clears throat> and I couldn't help but wonder if these ripples that I had unknowingly caused would lead to my brother Levi, or if they would result in a tumultuous wave from behind. And I hurriedly began to explain to Levi how some people were opposed to GMOs and how they didn't think that they should be in use. When he stopped me in my tracks with one single question, he said, Wade, why is it that people are opposed to GMOs if they're the very thing that supports the world around them? Well, that question is what brings me here today. You see, the reason that people are scared of these new technologies is because they don't know the truth about it and they hear that they're unnatural and unsafe and that they cause genetic monsters, and they become scared without knowing the whole story. So today, I want to share with you the truth behind GMOs. One of the hottest topics in the GMO world is the hybrid seed debate. Many people would tell you that a hybrid seed or a seed made through crossbreeding is not, in fact, a GMO. Kristen Michalis of Food Renegade sums up this belief well when she said, quote, unlike natural seeds, GMO seed varieties are not made using natural and low-tech methods. Instead, they're made using high-tech and sophisticated methods like gene splicing. Well, to someone well-informed about GMOs, the holes in my house's argument become